What's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day bringing you something that I'm really excited to bring you. Um, you know, when you ever put a knife in your hand, there's two kinds of knives you put in your hand. There's the thing you put in your hand and you say, all right, this feels all right. And then there's the ones you put in your hand and you say, man, I feel like I'm holding a knife. This one right here, you feel like you're holding a knife. This is Knives of Alaska Bush Camp. Oh, yeah. And it's got the shore grip handle, which is like a rubber. Um, hell of a shock absorber. Uh, just a, a very, very well-made piece. You can see it is true full tang construction. You can see that the swell is to the rear, so you don't lose it going this way as far as grip. But you also have nice finger well grips that feel very good along with a very workable choil. Specs on this guy, we have a 10 and a half inch package with a six inch blade. Um, it is D2 steel, um, 59 to 61 Rockwell hardness, 8.3 ounces in weight. I'm reading it all right behind the phone. Um, so, uh, you have a very, very nice package here. Now, this is not um, laser engraved, uh, laser printed. That's all engraved, everything in there. So all their logo and everything is actually etched into the blade, which if you've paid attention, you know I'm a fan of because I'd rather that. The sheath is some high quality leather sheath. It is very, very good. You got the Knives of Alaska Bear right there. See if I can't get it to come in even semi clear. Um, but man, it's really hard trying to focus on some certain things. But anyway, it's there. There's a big bear. He's like he looks like this. Ah. Um, so now you know what he looks like. Um, oh, and of course, made in USA. So I love D2 steel. Y'all know that I'm a big D2 um, fan, and even R2D2. Anything D2, I love. So this guy right here is just awesome. Wow, I got blurry. So here we go. The the thickness, it's not crazy thick. Doesn't need to be because of the steel is great. I had a tape measure somewhere around here. But um oh here it is. I'm just gonna end up guessing. I do like how the um the girth goes all the way to the end, and it is an eighth thick. Um but you can see that the girth in this blade maintains all the way to the tip. I freaking love that. Um, this is this is a great knife to put in the hand. It's a great knife to hold. It's a great feel in the blade. Um, we're going to end up going outside because for some reason inside right now, this thing will not stay focused. But uh, we're going to go out there and we are going to go shave some wood and have a little bit of fun. Um, I've heard people complain about the rubber and the sure grip and they say, oh, but it's not beautiful. And, oh, it, it can, there can be a little rubber stepping away from the, so I can feel the, I can feel the steel here, but right here it's kind of sunken in and blah. It's rubber grip, right? So it's made to be able to move as you hold it. It's made to be able to squeeze and, and protect you from shock. Um, whenever you're talking about a rubber grip, you're not looking at the most beautiful of things. It's, it's well textured. It feels well. And you can see like right there is the little rubber thing from when it was cut away or whatever from the machine. Um, and, but that doesn't change anything about the grip. They call it a sure grip because it surely grips, man. This thing is, is a nice, nice hold on finish. I love, speaking of finish, the finish of the blade. Um, let's see how sharp we're looking. Um, ooh, wow. It is, uh, it is, <laughs> it is beyond shave sharp. I mean, this thing, anybody out there need a toupee? Because I just took with a swipe of this blade enough to make somebody a new head of hair. It's going to be some nappy thigh hair, but hey. It's hair. So um, we know it's sharp. We absolutely 186% know it's sharp. Now, somebody recommended to me that I do, because a lot of times I'll do the um, the bottle test. 
So someone was like, all right, yeah, that's great, but why not do it after? So what I'll do is, you know, today, because I like to, uh, I like to please, um, I'm going to go ahead and test this knife and we're going to finish with a bottle slice so we can see if that edge is going to be good all the way through the testing, which I think it is. One good thing is you have three pins. One of the pins is obviously hollow. Um, they're all brass. They're all nice and thick. I really like the pins. And this one is a huge lanyard hole. And um, if you are a lanyard user and someone who likes to wrap around the wrist or the fingers for that extra grip, um, you're really going to like that because you could stick any cord through there. I mean, pfft. You could stick like a telephone wire up from the street right in there. Um, it's good, man. This thing is this thing is built well, so I'm excited to get uh, I'm excited to get to using it. It's got the nice little uh, thumb drop right here on the spine to give you comfort, especially when you're using that choil. So if you're skinning and things like that, that is really good. But it's comfortable all the way around. The side grip is comfortable. Your foregrip is comfortable. Your rear grip is comfortable. Your front grip is comfortable. Your skinning grip is comfortable. Everything about this knife so far, it's built for the hand. It's made to use. Let's go make sure it uses all the way through. All right, what do you say we start with the old stump? I just killed a bug. Didn't even see it there. Put my hand right on him. <laughs> Smushed. All right, so let's do a couple uh, four-foot drops, and we'll see how the balance goes. Great drop. Four feet in the air, not a problem. Do a couple hard downward throws and we'll see how these scales last. Man, that is brutal. Whew, that is solid, boys and girls. Man, that is solid. Let's do some prying here. D2 steel, wow. That was just absolute chunk ripping right there that was pretty nice all right so let's uh let's go with the uh nylon rope i'm gonna do it up here because i think that's where you guys are gonna see it do a push cut and absolutely shredded it on the push cut which means i don't even need to do a saw cut if it does a push cut you know it's gonna saw so keep putting my hands in this damn bug gut all right so that's that. Let's do this. Let's take some hard vacuum cleaner hose and we'll give that a slice real quick. And that is no problem at all. So we're gonna have the vacuum cleaner hose. Let's uh let's just dice that up. There's one cut, there's two cut, there's three cut, and four cut. All the vacuum cleaner hose is cut. Now we need a piece of wood here. We need a piece of wood here. All right, let's dig that down in there, and whoo, man, that is sharp. That is sharp, sharp, sharp. That is super sharp, like as in easy to, to use sharp. Let's see here. Let's take off the end, and let's bring it to a point. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you guys can see, but instead of just chopping, it's like, feathering beautifully down this piece of wood. I hope it's pulling up on video because that is so, so nice. Look at that. Look at that. That is, uh, that's pretty, oh my gosh. Everything about this blade, everything about this blade is just right. I picked this one up at uh, Bass Pro Shops and I know you can get them cheaper because I think they, I think it was uh, I don't even I don't even know how much this thing was. I think it was around a hundred bucks um, And that's retail at bass So online you can definitely get it cheaper. You need to make pit spikes and tent spikes and arrows and Darts and things like that. You got to do a little fishing sharpen up a stick. Look at that sharpens a stick so sharp I'm able to stab the stick into a piece of wood. I Just shaved the side There we go so so far, so good. Let's see how we get a little chopping on some hardwood here before we take it over to the other wood. Now, it's not designed to be a chopper because it's, uh, it's a field knife, like a, uh, 
like a survival knife. And I think with all survival knives, it does need to chop. Even though it's not designed for it, it's designed as your, um, your basic camp knife for your food prep and your skinning and all that. It's made to um, be your ultimate around the camp knife. You're supposed to have your hatchet or your big buoy for processing firewood, but what if you don't? What if you lost it? What if something happened that you were uh, X'd out of your other blade? You need your camp knife to be able to handle that situation. Also, it's gonna cut the head off the fish. Also, it's gonna skin the deer. Also, it's gonna cut your steak. Also, it's gonna do all the other tasks like cutting your rope and things like that and sharpening your, your small sticks for, um, for other purposes, it's gonna do all of that and it's gonna do every single thing and do it well. So let's, uh, let's continue. Oh well, look, I've been working on my abs. Yeah. All right, so uh, I wanna do some pushes on one of these sycamore branches because it's nice hard wood. So let's set you guys up right here. That looks like a pretty good spot. You guys actually look pretty handsome there. If you were having a bad day, understand this. You look handsome right there. All right, so we have some nice hardwoods here. I just wanna push. Man, look at this. You guys, I'm, I'm assuming, can see the shredding just leaving the stick. My goodness. It is, uh, it is nice. It is nice. It's really, really pushing through. Let me uh, do some reverse here. We're going to pull through and I want to do some stops. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I just cut them all off. They were thin like paper. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh my God. I just keep, this knife is so sharp. So sharp. Every time I try to stop, it's just like, no, I'm going to keep cutting everything. I'm just going to keep cutting everything. Here we go. Here we go. Just some really nice fanned feathers. Um, now, let's see. We can't take it off here. So you can see what we're talking about with those fans. It's just really, really nice. This knife, this knife is awesome. Let's see if we can't knock off the end here little bigger spot bam whoo this is a good hardwood look how clean and smooth that cut is man 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 just awesome this thing this thing is nice just nice not even just nice this thing is beautifully nice let's uh since we're banging around a bunch of hardwood let's take a look at that edge oh you see any problems Neither do I. We'll soon find out with that water bottle test. But first, first we need to um, we need to baton something. And in the middle of everything, I need to. Okay, I got both dogs out here. You know, they just disappear whenever they want. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna set up, and we're gonna have some fun. Well, I'm gonna have some fun. You guys are gonna learn about this knife. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> so am I because this is my first time using it too. So I. I have a short baton over here. Let's see, I wanna make sure the glare isn't gonna be killing you guys. All right, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and remember this baton I broke doing a different knife, but we're gonna use it anyway. All right, here we go. Wow, that was just right away, just right away sticking, sticking. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, just pushing. It is flawless. It is so easy to use. So, so easy to use. And uh, it, it's, it's very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. And so everybody knows that batoning going straight down is the easy part. It's batoning the other way that you create your problems. So let's uh, let's put it this way. Pretty sure you guys can see. If not, let me back you up a little bit so you can get a better view here. All right, so 
I think that's better. We're gonna baton through it going across the grain. Let's see how it goes. I've used some knives that just don't do that. They just don't do that. And this one, this one did it with absolute ease. Just, I mean, ease. So let's see. Talking like ease, like easy does it ease. All right, let's see. Oh, I can't balance it. I can't balance it, man. All right, here it goes. All right, so let's try that again. Let's try that again. We got to try and get this thing balanced. Take a swat at it. Oh, <laughs> I finally get it balanced. And what do I do? I miss. So if you guys want to um, make me that award for the Jackass Award, I earned it. There we go. I took off a nice, a nice chunk of what I hit. I just didn't hit the thing solid. Let's try that one more time because I don't want to bore you guys to death. I mean, there's plenty of good ways to die. Boredom is my bottom six. All right, let's see. Let's see. Come on, man. I'm just going to hold it and then let go. Oh, every time I hit it, I'm hitting the edge, and it's doing what it's supposed to do. There we go. I hit it solid, but everything moved, and you could see where it hit was just devastating. All right, so gave it a nice split down the wood. Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. So, am I able to get through the wood? Am I able to uh, to make it all happen like that? Yeah, let's see how this thing looks. After batoning, let's get all the crud off of there so you could actually see the edge. And it is beautiful. There we go, get all the crud off. It looks good, it looks good. Let's try and throw this thing. Let's see, got all this stuff in the way here. Uh, okay, here we are. These are those hair-like thorns that stink when they get in your hands. All right, so here we go. So now we are, now we are five yards away from that target. Let's see here. first throw with it first throw with it five yards that was almost dead center here's dead center right here man oh and it went in there real deep so uh, I have no no complaints with this knife not only do I have no complaints but I really really like it let's get all the the stuff off there so we can get a nice good look at this edge with nothing uh, nothing false there we go Look at that. Look at that. So let's go, uh, let's go do, uh, goo-doo. Let's go goo-doo. Let's go do the, uh, the old test on the water bottle. Now that we have been banging this thing around, I think maybe it really wants to show off. Maybe this blade was just waiting. It was saying, wait, I'm going to bang around some stuff. And I'm going to show you guys how I tear apart a water bottle. Because if I was a knife, that's what I'd say. So here we go. Actually, if I was a knife, I'd be saying, get off me. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Water bottle. Let's get it so we can actually see it. I don't think we were in a good enough position there. That's better. All right, so here's the water bottle. Here's the D-bad. Here's the Alaskan. There's your answer. Does it cut even after you've been using it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Look at this. Shred, shred, shred. Man, this thing is freaking beautiful. So, I'm telling you, D2, it's going to hold an edge. It's going to be strong. It's going to be... Uh, to a knife where if it gets wet you don't have to worry about drying it right away um, so you're gonna have a better rust protection on this and 
it just holds up. The thing is a great knife. It's just a great knife. Um, Knives of Alaska. It just gets it done. Gets it done, man. I love the Bush Camp. I, let me say it again, love the Bush Camp. And let's get a nice shot of that bear. See if we can get it clear out here. There you go. That'll wet your pants. Rawr! See that big Alaskan brown bear come at you? Some Kodiak or something. Um, I have to say that I, ever since I bought it um, on Thursday, last Thursday from whatever day we're on now, I have been dying to get this thing out and use it. And it is square. Everything is 90s right here. So you can definitely strike spark with it. And I mean definitely. Me personally, I would probably use the Ricasso. Um, but this thing is the ultimate camp knife. It is an ultimate camp knife. Uh, if, if you're in the business or, or you're just looking for something that you need to take with you Anytime you go camping, anytime you go fishing, anytime you go hunting, knives of Alaska knives should be looked at, especially the Bush Camp. Um, it is a really, really good knife, and it's great in the hand. The handle leaves no hot spots. There's no shock. Um, it's everything you would want in a straight-up camp knife, right? Everything you would want. This thing is fan freaking tastic. And D2 Steel, I am a super fan of D2 and um this thing this thing is no exception to the reason of why it is just awesome and it's a good looking knife it's good looking i mean just look at how it looks against my one two three four eight pack oh man yeah i got an eight pack ah! oh, of course if i take it off i no longer have an eight pack but sweet man sweet knives of alaska Look them up. I'm Donnie B all day. And until next knife.